What's going on YouTube? Jeans here bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're having back onto the ranked double ladder with this Tessarina Sandstorm team. So if you guys are excited, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you for everybody who has supported the channel. So guys, on this team, we have Extra T Tar. You guys already know the deal with that. Set the Sandstorm, get that boy Extra out there. He'll be able to do work, potential Dynamax, and just run the match. We also got the Scope Lens, Super Luck, Tokus. So mean crits coming our way. We got Air Slash, Dazzling Gleam, Heat Wave, and follow me on that Togekiss. Then we got the Rotom with that Life Orb. And guys, if you haven't saw the last video, go check that one out. We dominated with our Rotom with Thunderbolt, Hydro Pump for Stab, Dark Pulse for Coverage, and Protect. So I'm actually hyped for this little guy. He does some work with that Life Orb. Then we got the Arcanine, who is a great lead Pokemon with that Heat Wave, Snarl to Drop, Special Attack, Safeguard to protect us from any uh, status conditions such as Paralyzes, Burns, and sleeps and protect with that figgy berry so it can actually regain some health then in the final spot is a pokemon i haven't really used too much on the rank ladder we got this tessarina with the cobra berry and queenly majesty if you guys do not know what queenly queenly majesty does her ability stops first turn priority moves so moves like fake out sucker punch mock punch all that good stuff if she's in the field of play it will not happen the move will just get canceled out and it'll be a free turn for us she has power whip high jump kick u turn for pivot and helping hand Guys, you want to use this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. I cannot wait to use this team. Haven't even tried it out yet, but it looks pretty awesome. But guys, without further ado, let's hop onto the ranked double ladder, try to get some wins with this team. Match number one coming at you guys. He has a Drought Charizard team with that Fake Out Lightning Rod Raichu, the Togekiss, the Storm Drain, Gastron, and that Vicious Randrinko Fish, who is always a scary little Pokemon. So, Rotom is probably not the call as he has the Storm Drain and potentially that Lightning Rod. So, Rotom, you can you can stay a little bit on the side here. I could see him maybe leading Raichu into the Charizard and potentially swapping out into the Torkoal. That could be his call. I could definitely maybe see that. So, who would I want to do? What I want to do, I kind of want to go into that uh, that Tessarine just for the sheer fact we have Queenly Majesty and, can, and it can stop fake outs. So I could go, and I want to go Arcanine as well. Hmm. Hmm. So we want to go Arcanine Tessarine here, um, just to just to stop the the special attack drop or get the special attack drops. Um, kind of want to go with these two guys. I kind of want to go the two boys here, the extra T Tar combo. I'm thinking this is a good call. But I just gotta watch out. My only problem is going to be that Charizard. The Charizard is going to be a big pain for us. I mean, maybe we should lead. We 100%, I think I should have led the Titar X Joe. Because that could have countered so much. With the speed advantage, just take early on speed. But maybe we can come up clutch later in the match. But let's go. If you guys are watching this and you want to catch more content from me, head in the link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. As this video goes live, it is actually my birthday today. So come hang out with me as I'm doing a birthday stream over there. Like I said, link in the description below. But Charizard Torkoal does get the lead. Okay, so he's going to go Drought early on. Um, definitely a potential swap here. A potential swap so I can get rid of the Drought. So yeah, I'm going to get rid of the Drought here. I'm going to swap the Tessarine into the T-Tar. That's totally fine by me, and I'm going to send a nice little Snarl. A little Snarl, Barl, Harl, Garl. So definitely... Can I U-Turn? Can I U-turn? Will the U-turn go first? No, because test rate, or the charge is just going to outspeed. So we're just going to go for the hard swap play. Set this, and then we are going to go into a nice little snarl snarl. And he's got to be going into an airstream. Like, that's got to be probably his play to go into an airstream. The boost the speed. And the only thing I'm kind of worried about is going to be that Torkoal sending an eruption. Because Torkoal's eruption with max HP is, it's scary. It is 100% scary. We gotta watch out for that, but if I can start getting these Snarls off and teeing off with them, we should be fine. Should be fine. So here comes the, the G-Max or Dynamax Charizard, obviously. We kind of saw this coming, but no more Drought, so that's huge. We got the T-Tar up in here. I would have loved to U-turn out onto that Torkoal just to deal some damage and then pivot back out into my T-Tar, but the Charizard would have went first, so it's fine. It's cool, so we have to make a hard swap, but Dynamax Charizard in the Sandstorm. We got T-Tar out here. It's not G-Max, which is nice. Airstream's gonna fly over to my T-Tar. So that, that's fine. We can eat that up all day. But he's gonna get the speed boost. He's gonna get the speed boost. But we're gonna start getting that special attack drop as well. So that's chilling. We are chilling, yeah. Do I D-Max? I'm thinking of maybe protecting. Charizard comes out. Who's it missing? Torkoal. Okay, I'd rather get, get it on the Charizard than the Torkoal. So that's fine. But still, of course we miss one of these. I wanted to get it on the Torkoal as well. Would've been nice. Eruption's gonna pop. And our, we should be able to eat these up. Let's see how much damage this does. Okay, yeah. We're easy peasy eat up squad. Um, I'm probably seeing a overgrowth coming my way. If I had to guess. 
So protect might be the call into a hmm. Yeah, I think protect is 100% the call. We're just trying to waste out these uh, dynamics. Here. So I think we're going to go into protect and drop another snarl. Maybe I should double protect. I can protect my Arcanine next turn. So yeah, we should be good. We should be good. I, I'm feeling good. Definitely an overgrowth coming over there or an airstream onto my Arcanine, which my Arcanine should be able to just eat up and then use our berry. But let's see. Let's see what happens here. Here comes uh, overgrowth. Like I said, yo, look at it. We're reading up on this fool. We've reading up on this fool. We'll be able to eat that one up. No problem. And trigger our own weakness policy for turns to come. Okay, so we got that. I'm like, I don't know if I should Dynamax. Like, I'm on the edge of Dynamaxing this thing, but I think I might just save it for my extra. That might be the call. But there goes my weakness policy. Snarl's gonna pop here. We, I, I don't think, I don't think we Dynamax. I really do not think we Dynamax here. I don't think that's the call. Because we're kind of low on health. I said we save it for the extra drill. And look at this. We dropped that thing minus two on special attack. Twinkle goes down to minus one. Probably send another eruption. Is that what it's doing? Or a heat wave? Gonna go into an EP. A little bit of earth power. That's fine by me. We'll be able to eat that up and trigger our figgy berry. Right? Figgy berry coming out? No, figgy berry's not coming out. We need a little bit lower for our fixer. Maybe this will trigger the figgy berry. Yes! Okay, so there goes the figgy berry. <laughs> Thank you, Sandstorm. We get our figgy berry off and boom. Back up to more than half. And the buffets are flying through. So, uh, what's the call here? He's gonna probably take out, actually, my T-Tar might be able to eat. That might be a fact. My T-Tar might be able to eat as this thing is minus two. So I'm thinking if I drop a Rock Slide with this weakness policy, we can maybe get a kill here. What other Pokemon did you have? Do we set up the safeguard? I mean, maybe a Nuzzle? Maybe a Nuzzle with the, uh, I think I just set up a safeguard. I think safeguard is to play. I mean, drop a big Rock Slide. Hmm. Or I could protect. I could protect. No, I think safeguards apply. I really do think safeguards apply. Protect us from burns, anything else later in the match. He's gonna withdraw the Torkoal. I'm cool with it. He's gonna go into the Draco Fish. Mm. Not too cool with it. That's a, that's a little scary. And he's gonna guard here. And we're gonna be able to drop a Rock Slide on that thing, though. On the, on the Draco Fish. And we're gonna be able to get up with safeguard. Um, things I gotta watch out for with the Draco Fish. I mean, I have to get in my, what's called, as soon as possible. My extra drill in this Sandstorm. We can outspeed. Of course he avoids the attack. Get out of my face. Get out of here. So Draco Fish is definitely going to go first. Um. Hmm. How many turns is left in the Sandstorm? Two? One maybe? I mean, I'll let a Pokemon go down here. I will hands down be fine with letting a Pokemon go down. I, I don't mind letting a Pokemon go down here as long as my extra can get in here and I can get a, at least one Dynamax turn in the Sandstorm. How many turns do we have left? Sandstorm 2. Okay, so I don't mind if a Pokemon goes down here. I really do not care. I'm going to go for a slide here. I think uh, the best play would be go for a Heat Wave and maybe try to get a burn on the Draco Fish. Let's see what happens. Charizard's going to Air Slash. Okay, we, we should be able to eat that up, no problem. And he'll probably get lucky and get the flinch. Like, that's probably a straight fact. And Draco Fish is going to fish his Ren and take out my T Tar. Okay, that's cool. So T Tar goes down. I'm fine with it. That's uh, it's not too big of a deal. I'm getting my extra in here. I'm Dynamax and I'm going after that fish's friend, uh, Draco Fish. Dude, why is why are we missing all these attacks? Like, get out of here. What is that? A third missed attack? Rock slide, a snarl, and a heat. That is three on the day. Alright, I'm not worried about the Charizard. We're definitely getting in our boy, Extra Drill, and we are dropping a rock. We are dropping a rock onto this Draco Fish. I mean, do we drop a rock? I could go Steel Spike. I gotta remember the other Pokemon that he has. If he swaps to the Torkoal, the rock will still do work. If he, uh, swaps into the, what's it called? Into what, maybe, I'm guessing Storm Drain Gastron has gotta be your final mon. Right? If I had to guess, it's gotta be Storm Drain Gastron, as you have two fire Pokemon. So, we're definitely Dynamaxing. And, I would rather go into a stab move. Let me look at his Pokemon one more time. Because I don't want him to go into a, does he have the Togekiss? Do we think he has the Togekiss? Hmm, it's a possibility, but I'm feeling like it's the Storm Drain Gastron, so I feel like we are 100% safe by going into this stab next week. I think I think that is a possibility, and then I can just go for a Protect. Because you know the Charizard's probably going to uh, go after that. Or the Charizard might just drop a Heat Wave. But here goes your Dynamax. This is, the, this is going to be uh, what decides the game. But I don't think he swapped because our animation went first. But I think it goes swap and then our animation, but let's see, let's see. But this is going to be uh, what decides the game right here. Is if we land this and potentially get the KO. Let's see what happens here. The Charizard, no, he stays in, which is awesome. Arcanine's gonna protect my Arcanine. Nice little call by me. And then he's gonna go into a what? 
Nothing. We go first. This is why I said I need this sandstorm. Can we pick up the KO? I'm thinking we can. I'm thinking we can. We do not. Whack. But we do boost our special defense. That's fine. Um, He's got to go into a heat wave in the fish's friend. But he goes second. He went second. Heat wave comes in here. We're getting that block. And uh, you're minus two. So maybe we can be able to eat this up. Yeah. All day. All day. That's a, that's a, that's a snack. And then the fish's friend is going to come in here. Dude, we should have went into uh, something else. Oh my god, that still did a ridiculous amount. That still did an insane amount. Like, what you mean? Get out of my face. That still did an insane amount of damage. That is that is at, that is absurd, the amount of damage that this thing. Ooh, this is a close one. This is a close one. We are jolly. Do we outspeed that thing? Unless he's scarfed. He might be scarfed. Um, I could guard. Hmm. I'm thinking about guarding. And I'm thinking about going into a, I guess a snarl here. Like, I guess a snarl. Because I'm guessing he's going to go into a heat wave. And then into a uh, fish's run. Yeah, there's the heat wave. My Arcanine should be able to eat this up. Then he's got to be going for a fish's run. He's got to be going for a fish's run onto my, uh, what's it called? Are you kidding me? He goes over to my Arcanine. You little biscuit. Nice read. Nice read. Oh. That is some, dude, this is just some tough news. I think this match, I think, uh, I think we honestly would have won this match if we would have maybe landed two of our three moves. Like, a rock side would have landed on the fish. That would have been perfect, and we would have took it out with that. So, rough news on that call. Let's keep rolling. Let's see if we can actually pick up this win. We still have the Tesla Marine here. We have U-Turn. We have Helping Hand as well. Um, da -da 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 -da. He's going to go for a Heat Wave, but I mean, he's minus two. Which isn't too, too bad. But the fish has to go. Like, that's a fact. I think we're just going to drop a rock over on the fish. I send a sandstorm. Mm. Good U turn. I could power whip. I think power whip is a call over on the fish. Let's see what happens. Heat wave's gonna come through. Ooh! Eat it up. Test ring eats it up. Extra survives. And then Charizard is gonna go down this turn, but Fish Run is gonna take out our boy here. How come you're not missing any attacks? Get him out of here. Get gone. <laughs> um. So. Peace, peace, peace. I'm trying to figure out a way to win this one. Yo, what do you mean? What do you mean? This game is doo-doo. This game is doo-doo. We legit lost this to four missed attacks. That is insane. Hopefully, we can have some better luck next game. That is whack. He hasn't missed one attack all game. I miss four and lose this match? Are you serious? Well, at least we get the Charizard down. Hopefully, he misses here and we can pick up the KO and maybe win this game. Now, of course, he lands it. That is some bogus. But GG to this guy. We missed four. And he gets a crit in the end. Just to rub, just to rub it in, guys. Just to rub it in. But GG, we'll hop into battle number two and see if our luck can change there. Let's hope that our luck is going to change in this battle and we can actually hit our attacks. Here we go. This guy is a trick room team. It's Dust Cops and Dust Snore. That's pretty dope. That is pretty dope. You never really see Dust Snore on the ladder. So I'm kind of hyped to actually see what he's going to do. Definitely a trick room team. He has the right period as well. So how should I play this? How should I play this? Do I see him leading the Incineroar? Do I see him leading Incineroar? Because if not, I am just going to start uh, sending some things. Like uh, Titar and Extra. I could lead Titar and Extra. That could be very, very good. Um, I think play would be uh, maybe go... Hmm. I'm going to say Togekiss. I got to get that Dust Cops out the way. Is there any way I can get this Dust Cops out the way? Just turn one. Hmm. Maybe if I go here. Let's go with Titar Extra Drill. I'm gonna go T-Tar Extra. Let's go with that lead. Um, come in with the b -b -b the bibbidi bobbidi boobidi bobbidi's later. Um, I don't even know. Hmm. Who goes snarl? He has some special attackers with that dust storm. Oh, bruh, 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 bruh. Definitely Rotom. Rotom in the back end. And then I think Togekiss in our final spot. Let's get it. Let's get rolling here. Come on. I'm sick of these trick room teams. I feel like I've been going up against a ton of them lately. Just trick room, trick room, trick room. But trick room is so good. It is so good. It's like. You cannot not use a Trick Room team. It is just too good on the ladder right now. If you want to push high ranks, Trick Room is probably the way to go, to be honest. But let's see what this dude's going to do. He's got to be leading that Dust Cops. I just hope he doesn't lead that Incineroar. Why don't you dare show me Incineroar? Okay, Indeedee and Dusty Noor. Okay, so no collapse here. I'm cool with it, to be honest. I'm totally fine with it. I think I drop a Rock Slide here and Dynamax my Extra Drill. I got to potentially see a swap here, right? We got to potentially see a swap. Hmm. We got like we have to potentially see a swap maybe in the dust snore. Because I can see a potential follow me, and I think he's going to swap into the Incineroar. If he does have it, if he does have the Incineroar. That is uh, a possibility of what he's going to do. 
So let's go here. Let's uh, not die to max him. I'm going to go for a rock slide to potentially get some flinches. And I'm going to go for a... Uh, da -da 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 -da. I could boost our defense. I could boost our special defense as well. This thing does not have levitate. I I believe it doesn't have levitate. It had frisk. It had frisk. Okay, so that's good to know. This thing has frisk. Um, what other Pokemon? Do you have any like air Pokemon? No, you do not. So uh, this is a safe play to go into my uh, stab max quake to boost our special defense. So let's get it. Let's get rolling here. Just throw that over there. Maybe I should have went for that Indeedy. Maybe I should have. Well, if the Indeedy goes for follow me, then then now happen. If not, we'll just take out this one. So, I'm cool with it. So, Rockside's going to potentially come out here, drop some flinches, which is lovely, lovely. Extra's getting that D-Max. We're coming after you. Turn one, baby. Turn one. The reason I am going into Death Snore is because if he swaps into the Incineroar, that's the slot I see him swapping into. So, I can just take it out. Take that uh, minus one. Hit that Max Quake. Hit a Rockside. And go from there. But if he goes for a follow me, then we just drop Bang Bang. Ooh, he could be Hypnosis. So, how can I could be? Could have been really good. Let's see what happens here. Oh, no, okay, he's Dynamaxing. Are you Dynamaxing that Dust Snore? That's got to be the norm. Unless we're seeing a Dynamaxing Didi, which would be honestly crazy. It is the Dust Snore. Yo, let's go. Props for this guy using some cool Pokemon. You never see Dust Snore on the ladder. And Dust Snore is such a cool Pokemon. I'm actually, yo, yeah, awesome for this guy. But good thing we are bo boosting our special defense with the Max Quake. That actually works well for me. Helping hands coming in here. Okay, so Rock Slide. Good thing we did go after the Dust Snore. Uh, Max Quake's gonna fly here. We're gonna boost both our special defenses here. It's pretty lovely. And it's good to know that we outspeed. It's good to know that we outspeed, and that did more than half. Well, it was a crit. Never mind. I think, uh, luckily for us, we got a crit. Maybe our luck's changing. Maybe our luck's changing here. Let's go for this Rock Slide, see how this works out here. Rock Slide, boop! Do a little bit of damage to that Indeedee, to be honest. And another crit on the Duster, yo! Maybe our luck's changing. Phantasm's popping out here. We are plus one on the, uh, special defense, but that still did some work. That still did some work. Um, what do I think the call is? Hmm, what do I think the call is, to be honest? He's going to drop our defense. Uh, do we think Rockside would take out? Maybe? Maybe. Uh, la, la, la. Let's go Crunch. Crunch is super effective. So I'm going to go Crunch here. And I'm going to drop a... Uh, hmm. I think I'm going to boost my special defense for my T-Tar once again. And I'm going to drop this over on the Ndidi. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. Let's see what happens here. So Ndidi's going to go for the follow me. This is why I want to go here and here because my extra should be able to take out this Ndidi and then Crunch should be able to follow up and take out the Dust Snort. So we got to hope this actually takes out. Let's see. Come on, buddy. Doom Dirty. Doom Dirty. Let's go. Ndidi gone. We should be able to take out the Dust Cops here. We got plus two on special defense. Did Dust Cops go first? I think Dust Cops goes before my... Uh... Does Dust Cops go before? Let's see. No, he does not. Let's go. Take him out here with the Crunch. Bang. Bye-bye, Dynamax. Bye bye Dust Snore, bye bye Indeedy, all in one turn. Let's get it. No Trick Room as well, and we're sitting pretty. We have one more Dynamax turn. Let's go, dude. Luck's changing. Luck is changing. We just exhausted. We had all terrible luck last match. We started off with two crits, which I think we would have been fine regardless. I think the way that we played this one, both those Pokemon still would have been dead. But he's going to go into his own extra gym. Is it Mole Breaker? Show me that's Mole Breaker. He has no Trick Room, so um, we have to say bye to that thing right there. I wonder what he's going to go into. He has to go into a Protect. That's got to be a straight fact. Right? He's got to go into a Protect. And I'm going to... Do I Protect my own? Or he's probably going to try to take out my extra drill. So I think he's going to go Protect there. I'm definitely going to... Do I read it? Do I read it? He's got to go into a Protect. That's facts, right? That's a fact. That's a fact. We're going to read that. We're going to make the hard read say he goes into Protect with the right period. Let's see it, baby. Let's see what happens here. He's got to do that. So we're going to double into this extra drill. Take off potential Sashmon. And maybe take it out. Let's see what happens. He does not. That little biscuit. It's fine. We're going to be able to take out you here. Which I'm cool with. So, and he's not even Sash. Okay, that, that's totally fine. We got this one in the bag. Clean little sweep happening here. A little bit of sweep action. He's probably going to take out maybe one of my mods here. But, yo, that was domination this match. GG. Match two. Little bit different. We start off with the Beast Boys. This is why these are my favorite mods. Like, these are, like, my two favorite mons in the rank ladder. We got T-Tar and Extra Sandstream Squad. And we should be able to survive here. Yeah, we are definitely sweeping out here. Let's go, GG. These two guys, too good, too good. I always liked them ever since uh, Season 1. I think the first team I made, the first rank battle video I made, had T-Tar Extra, and I still love them ever since. Like, so much fun. We're just going to drop a Brick Break because it's super effective. And I'm just going to an Iron Head here and say GG to this guy. Um, this actually, the, the right period might survive, but I seen cancel in the battle. I seen cancel. There, there it is. There it is. Let's go. Let's go. One and one with this team. Let's hop into our third and final battle.
I'm a little confused here, guys. Just a little confused here, considering he has a Nine Tails for the drought, the Venusaur with probably Chlorophyll to work in the drought, and then he has the Pelipper with probably Drizzle and nothing to run with it. I'm confused and kind of scared because he might have some tricks up his sleeve, but. Here we go, guys. Hopping into the third battle. If you guys are hanging out with me, give me a little bit of hashtag Tessarina Squad in the comment section down below. Let's me know who watches the videos all the way through and who sticks around. But I can see him leading Whimsicott, maybe for that Tailwind. Maybe for that Tailwind. Uh, he has special attackers lined up besides that Mimikyu and that T-Tar. Uh, who do I want to... I'm probably still going to lead this Arcanine. I think Arcanine is a good lead. I could go Tessarine. Does he have anything with first turn priority moves? Maybe, maybe not. Probably not. So I think Tessarine might just hang in the back here. I kind of want to go Togekiss. Do I go Togekiss or Rotom? Togekiss or Rotom? I really don't want to go Rotom. I feel like uh, Togekiss might be a little bit better here. Then we just go Extra Drill T-Tar. Let me go Extra Drill T-Tar here. I mean, if you want to set the drought, I'll eventually get my T-Tar up in there. But last chance for Tesserine. Last chance for it. I mean, Shadow Sneak. Ooh. Um, we cannot. We cannot change. <laughs> we cannot change. Oh my god, I realize he has a first turn priority with Shadow Sneak. That might be his trick room user, but Tessarine doesn't really do too much work in here regardless. Like, it has the Power Whip, but, like, he has a Fire Mon. The Pelipper's part flying, so it's not super effective. We have the Fighting Move, which only does work against that T-Tar, but it's not Stab. So, it's just like, okay, well, the Grass would do work against it, but, like, come on. There's no point. It's probably weak to Spossy, and I don't feel like triggering it. But here he goes. Starting off with the Drought. That's a little scary. I could go for a Follow Me, and he might be going for a Poison Move. Um, definitely go into a Snarl. Hands down, go into a Snarl here. Uh, and uh follow me or do i swap follow me or swap i could see us eating up a uh to be honest i could see us eating up a uh i see us eating up the what's it called the sludge wave or the sludge bomb whatever he wants to go into he's gonna he's gonna withdraw that and go into his uh he going into he going into his pelper okay so this is what he's doing with that he's gonna set the rain now Oh, yo, he's forcing us into a fire move. Was that what it was? You forced us into a fire move and then Dynamax it? Like, that's actually, that's honestly pretty smart. Because this... Oh, wait uh, just a minute. Is this thing weakness policy? And he planned this all along to go set the drought, force his fire move, set the rain to make the fire move do less damage, and trigger the weakness policy? That would be pretty smart. We are going for a snarl here. That's honestly smart. And he's going to go... Oh, he's going to start boosting up here. Let's go. Snarl's going to come out here. You smart little cookie. If this is your plan, you smart little biscuit. That's gotta be it. That's gotta be it. He's gonna switch out with the eject button and go back into the drought, I'm guessing. No, no, no way he goes back into the drought. We're going for the heat wave. Not a chance he goes back into the drought. If I'm thinking he's doing what he's doing. Let's see. He goes Mimikyu, yeah. There's no way he goes back into the drought. Heat wave comes out here. He's gonna do doo doo damage and trigger the weakness policy, right? Disguise. Okay, we take out the disguise. That sounds so good. Show me no weakness policy, please. It's gotta be weakness policy. Is it? It is not. Okay. I'm totally cool with. Oh, huh? What is this? Whoa! Throw me a curveball here. That is honestly one of the craziest things I've ever seen. That is insane. Uh, let's get that out of here. Let's get that out of here. I'm sick of it. <laughs> I'm totally sick of it. Okay, so he has a Mimikyu, he has all that. I think I can just Dynamax the T-Tar, safe call. I think safe call is Dynamax T-Tar here, he's minus one. He can trigger our weakness policy, and we can just get storming on from there. Let's go Dynamax, he might actually uh, change the weather on us, so I'm actually going to probably drop a Rock Ball over on you, and go into an Air Slash over on you. Well, if he does change the weather, I'm cool with it. That's why we just go into this Heat Wave. Hmm, I mean, he could change it back to the rain. He could change it back to the rain. I'm actually going to send a follow me here. No, he... Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm going to send a follow me. I'm going to send a follow me. Just in case he wants to go into the geyser again, I can see him swapping back into that Pelipper. We'll take out the Pelipper for free. We'll say bye-bye to him. Let's see, let's see. So, yeah, follow me is going to be a safe call here. There's no way he goes into the, uh, the drought. Let's see, he's going to withdraw. He's got to go into the rain again, right? That's what I'm saying. Is this what I'm saying? Let's see. Yep. Dropping back into the rain. That's cool with me. Follow me. He's going to fly through here. We're going to be able to drop a rock and change it once again. And get rid of this Pelipper once and for all. And take out any chances of rain coming back. Like, I don't mind the drought. I really don't mind the drought. Because, like, I have a fire, a heat wave with super luck and scope lines. Which can do big damage. Which can do big damage. 
And we should be able to go before this, uh, no, I have no idea. Will we go before it? I see us eating it up and just triggering weakness policy. That's how I see, that's, that's, that's basically what I see. Well, we have follow me, we have follow me, so I totally forgot about that. Fine, no, T-Tar's chilling. T-Tar's chilling, he's gonna be able to take out the Pelper, and the guy's just gonna get, oh no, the ooze, you going with that read. That's not bad. It's not bad, but we do eat, we do eat, which is a beautiful little sight here. Yes, sir. And we'll say bye to the Paloops. He's gonna boost his special attack, so he's back to normal. He's back to normal. I'm fine with it. We we'll say bye to the Palooper. Palooper, get him out of here, get him going! All right, Pelper out of here. Boop! See ya, dog. Go home, go home! And now, we are going to see the Ninetales come in here, change the weather. And, how can I go from here? That's my question, that's my question. So, Tokus goes, you could go for another follow me, or I could go for a heat wave. Heat wave in the drought might be the call, but he might be chlorophyll, which is uh, rather scary. I think I drop another rock over on the Ninetales, for the sheer fact to uh, change the weather. To change the weather and have my extra come in here and just clean everything up and call it GG in the can. I'm thinking that's the play. I'm thinking that's the play, peeps. Hmm. Hmm. Did you guys see the new uh, direct? Well, the mini direct. Animal Crossing content. We got like Easter stuff coming and we got uh, a little bit more information on the new DLC. Oh, he sells Mimikyu. I totally forgot about the mini memes. I totally forgot about the mini memes. Um, what do we do here? What do I do here? I could drop special defense. That is stab as well. So we are going to drop special defense. I'm just going to go into a heat weave. Next to the heat weave. I'm going to see probably a potential shadow sneak to take out my toe kiss. If I had to guess. And then into a overgrowth. Nope. He lets us go first. Nope. Do a nice amount of damage. And he burns. Show me burn on the Mimi. We get a crit on somebody. I think it was the, uh, the Venusaur. Play Rust popping. Ooh, a little scary. But uh, definitely triggers our weakness policy. And we'll be able to take out the Mimi Mims. Actually, maybe not. I don't know. If this Venusaur dumps on me, I can see him maybe going for a max ooze. Let's see. He goes for a rock fall. That's totally fine by me. What you think? Maybe I'll swap it? What you think? Maybe I'll swap it? I'm cool with it. What, what do you think? Maybe I'll swap it into my Exigil or something like that? Which is kind of... I don't even know. I don't even know what he thought I was going to do. But we're going to say bye to the Mimikyu. That's cool. And the Sandstorm is still rolling, but not for any longer. Because he's, he's going to have to force swap into the Ninetales. Get the drop going. Mimikyu's gone. We're, we are going to drop uh, Special Defense here. And what is it down to? Is it down to a 2v2? Down to 2v2, which could be scary. Right? Down to a 2v2. And I'm, we're all out of Dynamax Church. We are all out of D-Master. Mmm. Ooh. Ah. Coming down to the wire, peeps. Coming down to the wire. So Ninetales gets the force swap. Hopefully my extra drill is faster. I'm thinking maybe. Like we are sashed. We are sashed. So rock slide into maybe double the rock slide and hope not to miss. Or do we just play it safe? Maybe go protect T-Tar EQ all around. Oh no, we still got a turn. We still got a turn, baby. Oh, we definitely dropping rock on you. And then I'm just going to go into a protect on my own here. I'm just going to go into a protect. Let's see what happens here. Look at my big dog weenies policy coming in hot. Extra drill with that protect. Dude, I love his move animation. Just like falls out, sends that little protect. Solar beams coming in here. Absorb light. Actually, ooh, this is scary. Go into my extra drill, please. Go into my extra drill, please. Yes, yo, let's go. Let's go. Heat wave pops here. Block. T-Tar eats it up. Takes out the nine tails. That's GG. We got the speed advantage all day. We got it all day, baby. There's no way you're picking up a double kill here. Rock fall. Bye bye. And we yeah, and we pick up the uh, the sandstorm. Change the weather. Yes, sir. Yo, two and one with this team. Yo, this team probably should have been three and zero. To be honest, there's four missed attacks early on. Like, bro, you guys saw that. Our luck was doo doo. Absolutely in the dumpster. Trash can. Like, take it out. It's trash now. But. Here we go. He's gonna take some buffets, a little bit of Venusaur. That was a, that one kind of threw me off. The Pelper and then a Max Geyser Venusaur, like that was kind of cool, but it was just like okay, it, it's nothing special. It is nothing like substantially like groundbreaking. It's like okay, uh, that that was pretty cool. Kind of threw me off in the beginning, but it, it wasn't like to the point where it's just like dude, that's OP. Like nah, dude, you lost this match. Battle was canceled. GG baby. Two and one with this team. I absolutely love this answer. Sandstorm teams are still good. That is pretty hype. You guys already know they are my favorite kind of teams. So I'm glad I got to show off this team. We didn't really get to show off the Tess Arena too, too much. But you guys already know the gist of it. It has Queenly Majesty and it's a nice grass stab Pokemon. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.